Now let us understand few structural characteristics of the epithelial tissues. First of all, let me tell you dear students that there are variously shaped cells. The shapes may differ. Okay. So the shapes are of various types here. Okay. So remember, so I am talking about here epithelial tissues. And the epithelial tissues are closely arranged. That means to say, alright, there are generally no intercellular spaces between them. So practically, the intercellular spaces are absent between the epithelial tissues. So, intercellular spaces are absent. Alright, see they are closely arranged and already I have uh, spoken about this. Firstly, I had told the epithelial tissues are classified into two types, single, uh, uh, simple epithelial tissues and compound epithelial tissues. Under simple, I said it is generally made up of single cell layer, whereas with respect to compound, it is made up of more than one cell layer. So, remember that. And these epithelial tissues are held together by they are you know having very little amount of intercellular matrix very little because as i said you the intercellular spaces are practically absent so whatever you know they are, they are very closely placed with each other so very little amount of intercellular matrix that means between the cell we can find very little amount of matrix this matrix we can say intercellular matrix this consists of a carbohydrate called as hyaluronic acid right so this is the third point you need to remember firstly the cells are variously shaped they are very closely associated with each other as they don't have the intercellular spaces, alright, and in that close, you know, uh, placed cells, the matrix flows almost, alright, very little amount. So, which has a carbohydrate derivative, we call that to as hyaluronic acid, alright. So this is the third point. Always remember, dear students, that epithelial tissues rest on a basement membrane. See, let us say for example, I have represented here inter, intestinal epithelial cell. This is the intestinal epithelial cell. Okay. So, see it is lining on the basement membrane. Always a cell will line, I mean uh, the uh, uh, rests on a basement membrane. Remember. Okay. So, this basement membrane will be generally made up of either it can be collagen or it can also be glycoproteins all right so this is one more important aspect so most of the epithelial tissues lie on the basement membrane dear students and further the neighboring epithelial cells you know of these epithelial tissues are held together by three types of intercellular cell junctions this diagram i have represented here to show the same intercellular cell junctions are present between the cell intercellular between the cells there are connections to you know have interaction between the two cells to have connections between the two cells there are cell junctions so cell junctions are of three types that is tight cell junctions adhering cell junctions and we also have gap junctions see here in the intestinal cell junctions very clearly you can see that tight cell junctions and the gap gel cell junctions all right and they have different roles when we consider tight cell junctions they prevent the leakage of the substances all right they avoid the leakage of substances they avoid the leakage of substances from the cell 
All right, that first aspect. Secondly, we have the adhering cell junctions. Adhering means you can understand that it cements the joining cells. All right, so it helps in attachment of the two cells properly with the help of these structures called desmosomes. All right, so that is with respect to adhering cell junctions. Okay, fine. See, in between tight and the gap junction, in case of intestinal epithelial cell, we have certain intermediate filaments. All right, that can be noted, but here I have represented for understanding the junctions. Okay, next we have gap junctions. This help in the movement of ions and biomolecules. Ions and biomolecules movement can occur through the gap junctions. Dear students, so these are also necessary. Alright? So then further moving ahead, let me also tell you that, you know, see so many points we have discussed. The, the, these epithelial uh, cells are non-vascular. There is generally no, you know, uh, blood vessels which, can, which we can find with respect to these tissues. So hence we call them as non-vascular. And remember, then how do they get their nutrition? You know, they, you know, in the connective tissues, underlying this, uh, underlying this, uh, you know, cells or the tissues. Alright? So they have blood capillaries. Those blood capillaries will help in now getting the nutrition for these epithelial tissues all right and but they are non vascular let me tell you but they have nerve endings which enter into this epithelial tissue so since the sensors can be felt here all right and the free surface of this epithelial tissues the surface can be either smooth or it can be made up of finger like projections called cilia or microvilli. So these are the important aspects you need to remember. Let me just tell you that they are made up of very uh, different types of, uh, you know, various different types of cells or shapes of cells. Sorry, not types, shapes of cells. And these uh, epithelial tissues, you know, they are very closely arranged with each other. So they don't have interstellar spaces between them. And in the, you know, very, very little intercellular matrix can be seen. So, which is having a carbohydrate called hyaluronic acid, alright. And uh, there are cell junctions which help in, you know, having interaction with the other cells. So, like tight junctions, gap junctions, adhering junctions, alright, which perform various roles. Like tight junctions avoid leakage, adhering junctions in many different types of epithelial tissues help in cementing the two cells. And gap junctions, alright, these are intercellular junctions which help in exchange of ions and biomolecules between the cells. And further, the basement membrane is compulsorily, you know, most of the time we can find, you know, below the cells, so which is made up of collagen and glycoproteins. They are non-vascular, so, but they have the nerve endings passing through them, alright. The surface can be smooth or made up of cilia or microvilli. So these are the structural characteristics of the epithelial tissues which we need to take into consideration.